So, um, I'm just doing a random video, really. No real idea of what I want to talk about before I get, really get into it, apart from the fact that I feel the need to talk about philosophical questions regarding the nature of the soul and defining what that means and just basically have a ramble so I've been thinking quite recently a lot about what we mean when human beings say or describe the soul now for me soul intuitively means essence it doesn't mean anything beyond the physical realm that we inhibit it means the essence of our minds the essence of our now essence means clarity essence means distillation it means it means um clarity of thought clarity of will clarity of intention uh obviously intention and will are intention is a quality of the will so the will is a desire manifested or manifesting your desire through your actions intention is a way to do that um, and the soul I see is it's an abstract concept obviously and it's a metaphysical concept as well so there's no real way that we, I could because you can only really talk about the soul in regards with with language I guess and you're always going to be using abstract terms because there's no way of that I could now in an instant say this is me because the limitations of language language is limit verbal language anyway obviously you can communicate through art music poetry writing fit performing expressing yourself in that way but when it comes to actually and that is the process of distilling whatever your soul you're in your will is in the world, your desire, and bringing that desire and the will into the world. Uh, I mean, I'm per talking about this from a personal subjective point of view, really, because um, that's my soul, but then for other people, their souls could be, they might want to hurt people. They might have a, you know, like a negative soul, I guess. And by saying that, I'm not saying that I do not have those negative aspects within myself, for sure. Like, I'm capable of as much hatred, violence, and um, real evil shit as much as the next person. But the, re the way I expel all that mental kind of energy, all that mental kind of negativity, is by putting it into art or putting it into a form make it externalizing it from the internal kind of world into the external world uh, which brings me to another point actually um, the external world is objective reality which I'm sure everyone understands what that is, there's a structure and there's an order to everything in the external reality it's external pressure external physical reality and external psychologies external everything else game playing except etc um, but the in there is a way that these two worlds can cross over obviously the, I should define mm. internal world as well the internal world is the realms of the imagination the realms of the mind um, now the mind is the intellectual well it's a lot of things obviously it's how we perceive ourselves how others perceive us yada 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 there's no point in defining that too deeply the imagination 
is the realms of creation. So creativity, externalizing your the darker levels, the light levels, the kind of like all the aspects of your particular psyche, which I use intermin intermingly intermittently with soul in this respect. So basically what I'm talking about is myself. But like, for me, creation and destruction are both linked as well in a way. So, to create something, you have to go through a process of destruction as well internally. But this is on the internal level. This isn't anything external to your, to your actual mind, your environment, your mental psyche. Um... So if I was to, for example, if I was to come up with systems of thought in my mind, I have to first destroy the systems of thought in the internal realm before I can then articulate them with clarity and with will and with the correct desire to the external world. And ideas do change the world. I, I actually think... Um, and this is just an idea that's come into my head intuitively. What the world is, is ideas. Terence McKenna once said that, um, it's a, something that stayed, stayed with me for a while, was that reality is language. So if you can find a way of generating novelty, generating novel ideas, and then putting them out there in the world, people will grasp on them, onto them, and they will, you know, if they're valid, and most obje importantly, objectively true, and people will go to them and kind of like see that, uh, you know, that they are true ideas, and that, because truth the very definition of truth is that which is unmovable. Tr truth is unmovable. So, it is true, this is from a logic based perspective now obviously, it is true that I wear glasses. That is a fact. You could go into this in terms of like, um, you know, like, logic systems etc etc uh, if I'm losing track of my thoughts now but yeah basically what I'm saying is the importance of knowledge knowledge is very important the soul is an abstract you know, abstraction of psyche I think that's what I'm saying and it is important to be aware of your negative and positive sides of your psyche and mind to balance them out and to externalize negativity and externalize positivity through the creative process because then that brings it into conscious awareness as opposed to being in the subconscious and unconscious realms so bringing because the unconscious is as far as I'm aware, I know from like my very basic knowledge of Jung in psychology, the unconscious, unconscious, I should say, is a kind of collective sphere, which isn't the right terminology, but the collective sphere that we all kind of like draw mental energy from, I suppose. And the subconscious is like, you know, kind of in the background processing that goes on all the time. Again, I'm getting caught up in definitions, but you know what I mean. And that was 10 minutes in my head. Uh, so, I don't really care what you think, if you enjoyed it or if you didn't. If you did enjoy it, leave me some 
thoughts. That I'm just doing this as a philosophical musing, just to just for fun, actually. And fuck you if any of you think it's long and rambling or whatever. I don't care. All right. Au revoir.